I'm going to be assembling the chip partner cable for use with my GP1.X remotes. This was the pin color type that I found in, in the site. This was um, pin 1 is empty, pin 2 is yellow, pin 3 is black, pin 4 is green, pin 5 is empty, pin 6 is white, and uh, the blue and the red wires are not connected. Is that I'm going to be using the yellow, the green, and the white on the bottom. Uh, there's an outline on my um, remote with a notch. That's always pin one. Okay, well you have your notch in the corner. That's pin one. Two, three, four, five, six. That's the numbering. It's important that when you create this, and you're going to use this with JP 1.3, remotes that you don't have anything connected to pin 5. That's a very important part of this. That's why when you turn these uh, interfaces upside down, you screw up your remote. So it's always Im important that when you put this thing together, you uh, put it together in that method. So if somewhere down the road the colors change or you get your cable from someplace else and you're experimenting with the colors, do not put anything on pin 5. So what I've done is dry fitted these in the pattern with the black on the top, the green on the bottom, the white on one side and the yellow on the other side. And then I went in and connected that to the computer and it didn't seem to work. Problem was, it took forever for this thing to recognize, almost a minute, for this to make the new hardware sound, the plunk plunk. And then it took another minute for it to be ready. Once it did, worked fine. I'm now ready to move these to connector. So what I've done is I've taken these ends off because I've got a six pin uh, connector right here. And you take these off by, I used a little jeweler's um, tool and I lifted those things up. I've put on a piece of shrink wrap I, that I found in my husband's garage. I put it in this little piece of shrink wrap and we'll see if um, I can shrink this when I'm done. And now I can just clip these in. There's a right and wrong side. Do you see there's a little clip with a little teeny indentation which I can't see in the house. I have to go outside in the full sunlight to get those and you just slip them in that way. But the instructions say to glue, so I'm going to read a little bit more before I go on. Okay, what I've done is I put these into the six pin header that uh, I received. Thank you, Dave. And I have not clipped the red wire or the blue wire yet. I've just wound them around. I have plug this in. I did another download and yes it is still working as advertised so I'm ready to start gluing and all of my wires are nicely in there. This is going to be held down by four little wires so apparently the glue is going to be important so I'm going to do some snipping now, snipping those bare metal ends off so that I don't have those little antennas sticking out. And I have a nice six pin connector there. Taking Phil's recommendation, I bought some goop and I have coated this with goop and it's pretty dry already. It's very flexible but strong. 
It smells like contact mint. If I'm slurring my words, it's probably because I've been sniffing glue. Um, so here's here's my goop, and this is all gooped up, so this feels nice and strong. It's nice and flexible, strong, glued together. Uh, I don't know if you can see that very well. I also, this is an overage. This is, I took a little dab of um, nail polish and put that on the corner so that I could see where pin one is. That's marking pin one because I always want to know where pin one is on my um, cables it, so that I don't plug in anything upside down on a JP1.3 remote, which are so picky and so fragile. And here's my finished product. I took the heat sink, I took the heat wrap, I pushed it up, I put another bigger piece over the end, and I blew it dry with my hair dryer. And you know, it's not the prettiest thing, but it's nice and strong. I have no worry about those four um little wires that are holding this thing on when I plug it in and plug it, don't plug it in. And I've got a little mark here that shows me where my, and I've got a little mark right there that shows me where pin one is.